Hello, so here we're going to find the arc length of our function f of x equals x cubed over 6 plus 1 over 2x from x equals 1 to x equals 4. Now our function f of x is shown in the blue in our plot here. And what we're trying to find is this length in the red, this length of our arc segment from a to b. And we're going to go ahead and use the, um, the function for arc, the integral integration function for arc length to find this where L equals the integral from A to B of the square root of quantity 1 plus F prime of X squared quantity DX. Now we're jumping straight into this formula. If you're not sure where this formula comes from, I'll, I'm linking to a video at the end that was sort of a precursor to this video that kind of explains how we get this formula. But assuming we're starting right here, we can immediately, first thing we want to do is take is find that derivative of F prime of X. But we can write this in a little bit different format. So we're the L, this length here is going to be um, this integral where instead of f prime of x, I've just I've subbed in that formula for f of x, and I'm looking for the derivative of it. So finding the derivative of this function is not too hard. We we're just looking at this in that we have encased in the red brackets here. We bring that down here. So we take the derivative of that. I'm going to change that um, 1 over 2x to 1 half x to the negative 1 just because that's a little bit easier to take the derivative of in my opinion. And so we, we just end up with x squared over 2 uh, minus 1 over 2x squared using the, the basic power rule. So that's a pretty easy derivative. Now that we found that derivative, what our goal here to do is to take this quantity in, in red here and we're going to want to get that into a quantity that's that's easy to take the square root of. And that's the difficult challenge about these arc length problems is this the integral of 1 plus this function squared it can typically be a very difficult integral to solve. So if we, the idea is we want to we want to make this simpler and get this what's bracketed in the red in an easier format. So we'll take what's bracketed in the red up here on the left. And now um, we can we can um, mess with this a little bit to try and get into a format that we can easily take the square root of. So first of all, we can square this. So to square it, we're just doing the FOIL process here, where um, we're multiplying these quantities appropriately. And from here, I can just uh, multiply these together. So I get 1 plus this quantity becomes x to the fourth over 4. The next quantity becomes negative 2 over 4 where those x squareds are going to cancel out so that's that's convenient and then this last quantity becomes 1 over 4x to the fourth so now what I can do is I can go ahead and add that 1 in so that 1 and that negative 2 over 4 they just become 2 fourths in here I'm going to keep it at 2 fourths just so I have the same denominator or that, that 4 in, in um, in each of these components. And then I can just take that 1 fourth out. So I've got 1 fourth times quantity x to the fourth plus 2 plus 1 over x to the fourth. And you can see here now I can actually factor that um, what's in the parentheses there out into x squared plus 1 over x squared. So now I've actually got into a, into a formula where if I take if I took the square root of this I would get 1 half times x squared plus 1 over x squared quantity. So I can call that, I can call this that quantity squared and now I've um, I found a, 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 a value for what's in the red brackets here that I can easily take the square root of because I can easily take the square root of something I just squared, right? So I'm gonna, let me go ahead and bring this up to the top here clean, just to clean things up a little bit. And now we can go ahead and plug our value back in to our integral over here. So we have the integral from 1 to 4 of the square root of this quantity we just found squared dx. Now of course we can just um, move that up here and now that the square root and that squared cancel out and I'm left with this integral of 1 to 4 of half times quantity x squared plus 1 over x squared quantity dx. Now we can take the antiderivative of this function, but first of all we can just pull that one half out because it's just a constant. And I'm going to take the antiderivative of x squared, which gives me x cubed over 3. The antiderivative of 1 over x squared is giving me negative 1 over x. And then I'm going to evaluate that at x equals 4 and subtract it, evaluate it at x equals 1. So I, again, I keep that half out front, and I'm going to go ahead and plug in 4 for this first part over here and subtract this part where I plugged in 1. 
and then I can just go ahead and multiply this through so that 4 cubes becomes 64 and next thing I'm going to want to get all the, the denominators the same just to go through all the details of, of the math here so I basically just need to take 256 minus 3 plus 8 to get the correct numerator here which is going to be 261 and finally I multiply that 12 on the denominator by 2 and I get 261 over 24 which um, turns out to be equal to 10.875 and if you're familiar with uh, the previous video you know that this is the same value that we found when we when we separated this arc length into 100 segments so we can see that we're that we're on the right track and you can see that our integration process worked to find the arc length of that red segment shown in the plot